Hey YouTubers, so we are back at it with our guitar body as we continue to create it. Um, remembering that I have taken a few measurements off of my KV2, Jackson KV2 that is, uh, which is not going to be exactly what the, the bolt-on uh, body shape is, but it's, uh, it's close enough. Um, at least to pull a lot of these things. Now the neck pocket is a little difficult because um, my guitar is a neck through and the one we are modeling is a bolt-on um, and you can tell by the way that looks up at the, the neck pocket that we've got quite a bit of work to do to make that look right. So previously we haven't done anything with uh, fillets and in this example, we're going to uh, use a couple different styles of fillets. I'm not going to go over the whole menu, um, just what we need to get this done. Um, so I'm going to go and fillets to this edge, that edge, and that edge. Um, then I'm going to come back and do a variable fillet on here and on that edge. Um, which, you know, may possibly uh, be a variable chamfer type thing, but uh, at least for this example, we'll make it around. And then um, to finish it off, this one actually looks like it maintains the same uh, value across there. So we will keep that the same. All right, so let's go ahead and do our first fillets. So I'm gonna select this one, that one, and that one. And I am basically just clicking the left mouse button. I am not uh, removing any, uh, or not holding any other key on the keyboard. So, we see in the menu, it shows three selected, which the visual um, corresponds with. For radius, it's at 0.375, which may be a little small. And uh, that is really about all we need to do with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply it. And then um, it made the change. So we're going to exit now, I could have added the other fillets in there, but I like to have them um, as separate features if they're not the same radius, just so I can go back and, if I need to, delete and edit the whole thing um, separately. But uh, you could do pretty much everything in one fillet, possibly. All right, so let's do the, uh, the variable one. And now in the grand scheme of things, if you're building this guitar body, you probably would wait more to the end to put on the fillets just because you'd want to um, finish the cavities, you'd want to drill the holes, you'd want to make sure everything is right, maybe even bolt up your guitar neck, and then go and start doing more of the finishing stuff. So. Um, is the only negative about the way I am currently doing this that it may not uh, completely match the real world all right so we're gonna click on variable and uh, we're gonna click this edge and I want to do a I wanted to start which it shows um, starting here. And basically it gets bigger, so um, it's gonna start off smaller. So we wanna be about 0.125, and then it's gonna grow as it gets to the end. All right, so that looks good. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And we're going to start 0.125 again, apply, and 
that part is done. So and later on, we will go into the cavities and put all of our little um, chamfers in there, or excuse me, all of our fillets in there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and put another fillet, two fillets over here. And we're going to do a constant one because it looks like on the guitar it's more of a constant. 0.25 is about right. I'm going to click OK. So it looks somewhat close. Um, this radius here looks bigger than it does. It almost comes, doesn't really come to a point, but it's not quite that rounded. So I'm going to go, have to go back and fix that after I get a better idea what the measurement is. But that's all I'm going to show you for rounds in this lesson. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe.